Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's fourth and final video. We're going to have a look at the weather for the extent of 14 days for today's final video. Day 10 will take us to the 3rd of July, and we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the search GFS and ECM ensembles. Maybe we'll try in a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at the CFS B2 at the end of the video for July itself, and I shall get all of that for you in a moment, just to say, it's been a busy day, guys, weather so far today, with release the 6M UK weather forecast, JMA Friday, and the ECM day 42 day has been released today as well. That would nor normally be released on a Saturday, but we've released back today, because tomorrow, we've got the first autumn 2023 season one roundup coming up, more about that at the end of the video. So please like, share, subscribe on all of today's bits. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. And, of course, I hope you're having a lovely, 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 lovely Friday. Uh, I've got to say thank you uh, so much for all of the support over all of the years. And a very, very happy birthday to my good friend, Shiram. Shiram Pamu is uh, 50 today. Big, big birthday. Happy birthday, Shiram. I hope you're having a lovely day, my friend. I hope this is the birthday of your dreams as you reach your half century. Gav will be there in a few <laughs> in a few years. Um, give it another four years, I think, and I'm at my half century. So, <laughs> Gav's going to be uh, 15 in four years. Goodness gracious me. Anyway, I hope you're having a lovely, lovely birthday, Shiram. And uh, I hope this is the birthday of your dreams. Thank you so much for all of us support over all of the years my friend and you have a fantastic lovely lovely birthday okay happy birthday to share Ram. right let's have a look at the searching temperature then so the ct is now up to 16.7 it's only got another point two of a degree to go to reach uh the um june of 1976 which would be hottest june for recent years anyway there are a couple that are hotter than 1976 back hundreds of years ago, but for the recent um, hottest June, it's 76, which is 0.2 of a degree off that now, with uh, the central temperature sitting at 6.7. That is 2.5 degrees, 2.6 degrees above average, as provisional to yesterday to the 22nd of June. That will go up further. I've got a thing by the beginning of next week that will go into the 17s, actually. But will it stay there? These are the GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles for the next couple of weeks. We're looking at London today. The red line is the virgin year upper air temperature average for London, starting off above average at the moment. It's going even hotter over the weekend. Then a dip takes place through the early part of next week. Another little tick up around mid next week, but nowhere near to the extent we're at now. And then the closing days of them looking rather cool. We may find that the uh, CT, therefore, ticks down through the closing five or s five days or so, five or six days or so um, of uh, June. So it might be a close run thing whether we beat um, the CT from June 1976 or not. It could be a very, very close run thing. We might just come in. <laughs> that was a slightly under it, but it will be very close, I think. Uh, beyond that, it just looks rel relatively cool then as we go through the first week of July. Temperature much closer to average. Uh, maybe signs of a bit of a warm up into the second week of July, but of course, that is a really long way off, so best to leave that alone, I think. So the basic idea. Is starting off very warm to hot, cooling down, and then through the first week or so of July, looking relatively cool or near normal with the uh, upper air temperatures then. Precipitation-wise, plenty of dry weather to come for London over the weekend into the beginning of next week. There will be thunderstorms breaking down this heat on Sunday, but they'll be mostly to the north. After that, the closing days of uh, June into the opening days of July might start going a little bit more showery. It doesn't look particularly wet, but might start going a little bit more showery there for London as we go through the first week of July. Temperature anomalies from the 23rd of June to 1st of July around to a little bit above average, not as hot as it has been in recent days with these charts. And precipitation anomalies from the 23rd of June to 1st of July actually coming out average a bit wetter than average, particularly for more northern and western areas. Later, wind from that from EarthNorthSchool.net shows that uh, we've got uh, southerly 
southwest winds setting and there is a weather system in the north actually today in the north and west bringing outbreaks of shallow rain high pressure uh, down to the south is protecting southern parts of the country from that rain and as we go through the weekend we'll find that high pressure building north at least for a while right let's go through the chart data then this is our latest UK met euro run it's looking midnight on monday we'll bringing cold fronts across the country at that point taking showery bursts of rain with it and introducing fresher westerly winds more showery conditions on tuesday and then quite a deep area of low pressure developing to west of scotland on wednesday next week that could bring some gale force winds and that's one that really breaks down the ridge of high pressure and sends all of us cooler and showery through the second half of next week with winds in from the west and from the northwest that gets us to the 30th of june this time next week last day of the month icon again taking that call for across country sunday into monday could be thunderstorms in the north Probably not much rain though down in the south uh, into next week. So quite a deep area of low pressure to the north of Scotland Tuesday to Wednesday. Could bring some gales there and introducing a push of west northwesterly winds. They will be cooler and more showery as, well, as we go through the build to second half of next week. Again, icon looking rather cool and showery with those west to northwesterly winds. The GFS midnight run is all much of a muchness up to the middle of next week. Anyway. Second half next week, we start pulling in those northwesterly winds. They bring showers, maybe some longer spells of rain, and a drop in the temperature as well as the areas coming from the North Atlantic, as opposed to the Southern Atlantic and Southern Europe and whatnot. Uh, beyond that, so uh, we head up toward day 10, looking rather unsettled, rather showery, low pressure again in the North Atlantic to the northwest of the country. Bring in these west northwesterly winds, they'll bring showers uh, with them too. Uh, now, we've got this area of low pressure just here that's developing just to our west on Tuesday, uh, the 4th of June. So, from Tuesday 4th, Wednesday 5th of July, we're just beyond day 10 now. Actually, it's starting quite stormy, very inclement, with that area of low pressure bringing uh, not only bouts of heavy rain, but also gale force winds as well. Look at that big dartboard. Been a long time since we've seen one of those. Big dartboard low right over the top of the country there on Wednesday, the 5th of July. That looking very, very unsettled indeed. Beyond that, the low pressure then starts lifting out to the north again but we're still in this rather cool showery northwesterly flow up to the end of the GFS midnight run which gets us to Sunday the 9th of July we're looking rather mixed. The GFS 6Z again is looking like this rather showery on Monday particularly in the north main dry down in the south the middle part of next week goes cooler and more unsettled as well, with winds in from the northwest, Melbourne showers and cooler temperatures with them. We keep those cooler, showery northwesterly winds going through the end of week and into the weekend. They carry on up to day 10, actually. Beyond that, as we go through further through the first week of July, unsettled weather continues really especially so the northern half of the country south could have some drier weather at time but it certainly is a significant change that we are seeing here indicated by most of the model output today for the final days of june and the first week of july that gets us to the ninth of july by which time the high pressure resource trying to reach back northwards again but we're still a little bit on the cool and showery side even then if you enjoyed the video please you like share subscribe thank you so much for doing that drop a comment let us know what you think about this and all of our videos and don't forget to tell friends about gals well because we thank you so very much everyone for doing that gm once more we've got high pressure vision up from southwest on uh monday bringing dry weather to sell Still showering in the north, though. Middle part of next week, looking unsettled and showering. That takes us into the second half of next week. Again, northwesterly winds, helping showers, and quite cool temperatures as well. Heading up towards days 8, 9, 10, increasingly unsettled as low pressure sinks down across the country and into the North Sea, bringing showers and or longer spells of rain and cool northwesterly winds as well. And then the ECM rounds it all off. So the first half of next week, mostly dry with south. Northern air is quite wet and windy with this area of low pressure. Second half of next week, we all start turning more showery as below digs in from the north, sinks down across the country, really, and will bring showers along the spells of rain with it. And obviously, much cooler northwesterly to northerly airstreams are coming down with that area of low pressure as well. So, all miles are in agreement for a change to cooler and unsettled weather through the uh, early part of July. Precipitation wise, showers along the spells of rain in the north and west over the next few days, mostly dry down in the south and southeast. That's the fungi breakdown 
on Sunday. So, particularly for Central and North region, some very strong cricket as far south as Wales and the Midlands, but they're really for Northern England, Scotland, and probably for Northern Ireland as well. Beyond that, the only part of next week, Shelby in the north, mostly dry though, down in the south. Uh, and then we're into those more unsettled shower conditions through the second half next week with showers and or longer spells of rain never all that far away. These are the options on the table within the ECM ensembles today for day 10. Gets us to the 3rd of July. 19 members of the ECM ensembles with low pressure right over the top of the country and northern and western Europe. That looks very unsettled and uh, you know, <laughs> very unsettled. There's not much more to say about that. Shells, long spells, rain, quite cool as well. 15 with low pressure to, to North Scotland, high pressure over France, winds in the westerly direction. Dries weather in, is in the south with that wettest in the north. But it's a change from what we've had for most of June anyway. 10 with low pressure again sinking through the North Atlantic into Northern and West Europe. That one also looking unsettled and cool. And then 7 including the operational run. Uh, with low pressure over and to the north and east of the country. Again, winds coming in from the northwest direction. That one also looking unsettled. Most of those options are involving low pressure at day 10 on the 3rd of July. Just the exact place to below uh, and how deep it gets is, is uh, a little bit uncertain. But nearly all those options are involving high pressure. In too many time, these are the options that we've got. This gets us to the 8th of July. 23 members of the ECM on top. Possibly building up some sort of higher pressure to our south and south east. So that's trying to return us back to something a little bit drier and warmer, I think. 16 with low pressure goes to Scandinavia. High pressure again to our west and southwest. Winds coming in from a west northwesterly direction. Again, that high pressure is trying to reach back in, but we haven't yet quite got rid of below pressure to the north east. And 12, though, has us back under high pressure as early as the 8th of July. So, uh, these 12 just here have the ridge coming back. So, out of an unsettled opening to July, we may well find ourselves going into something uh, more settled again by the second week of the month. That's certainly where Jeremy Friday and the East have done a 42-day 42 42-day 42 of work you know, uh, today, so, uh, without letting the cats out of the bag, um, so, so let's wait and see, this might only be a temporary interruption to, uh, what has so far been a very warm and very hot, dry summer, really, uh, okay, last thing to look at is surface V2, this is 700 millibar height, and on today, Height anomaly today for July with above average heights over and to the west of the country. Probably some lower pressure up here though. So we're more or less under high pressure there, but would have some influence of rejection and lower pressure, to, particularly so to the north. That brings the rate at times to the north. Um, the temperature anomaly is forecast to be a little bit above average, probably not as warm uh, to average as it has been in June. And precipitation wise, there's no signal. I would suspect it will be a classic north south split, wetter in the north and drier in the south. We should wait and see about that. Right, we're done. If you enjoyed the video, please like, share, subscribe. If you show to everybody, give that. Drop a comment. Let us know what you think about this and all of our videos. Don't forget to tell your friends about Gals Web. Well, thank you so much, everybody, for uh, doing that. We need to put on around 30 subscribers, just under that, actually, around 28 now, I think, 27, 28, to get ourselves to 16.4k. Uh, so please give us a sub. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. We are ultimately grinding away. We're grinding. Um, and you know, Gav loves to grind. We're grinding away to uh, 17k. Thank you so much, everybody. Right, I'll just tell you what's happening over weekend tomorrow now 6 a.m uk weather forecast we will have uh the weekend forecast we're gonna have a 10 14 day and we will also have the first autumn 2023 seasonal model roundup that's going to get all of the long range models together around 15 of them from the world's leading forecast center to see what they're all showing for the uh, autumn for the first time this season. So check that out. It'll be released at 10 a.m. tomorrow. On Sunday, we've got 6 a.m. forecast again. We're going to have the return of uh, Gals Werby's Sunday Roundup. And, of course, there will be a uh, autumn update coming up for you on uh, Sunday also. You enjoy the rest of your Friday afternoon. And for this one, though, that's all for now. And thanks so much.